What's up guys? Hoppo88 here and welcome back to our Factor. And we're going to do something different here and we're going to do uh, a helpful hints uh, video. So a lot of people have asked about how to mod our Factor. Um, that's a question I get almost daily and um, it's not necessarily the simplest thing but if you know what you're doing it's also not that difficult. So what, uh, what I've decided to do is just do a quick video that talks about how to add mods into R Factor. So we're going to go ahead and assume that you've already got the game installed um, <coughs> to do this tutorial. Um, so I'm not going to be doing how to install R Factor, but how to install mods into it. So um, if we have a quick look at what I've got here, I've got my R Factor set up in standalone folders. Uh, I've got multiple installations of it. Um, and this is our files that um, make up R Factor itself. So if we open this up, what we'll see is that R Factor is, uh, this will be loud, there we go. This is a completely default uh, install of R Factor. As far as the series that it's got goes, um, there's only a few, they're not very good. Um, and this is what comes in the default the default game basically so <clears throat> you can see this is a completely empty install of R Factor with nothing in it so we're going to use this to install a couple of mods and show you how it's, how it's done um, I'll go ahead and exit out of this really quick um, so we're going to need this open this is our this is the folder that R Factor is installed in now for me I've got them installed on a hard drive here um, standalone version of the game you might not have it that way, you might have yours installed in Steam, in which case uh, to find the game files you just need to go to wherever you've got Steam installed, um, and I think it's called Steam Apps Common, and this is your games. So if you've got R Factor installed through Steam, uh, you need to find wherever Steam is, Steam Apps Common, and then you'll find your R Factor folder here, which you'll just need to open up. It should look the same as this here. Um, and I think, obviously I don't have a uh, Steam version of the game, but I think that it should be the same process for both. So, um, hopefully it is, but I could be wrong about that. But, um, either way, let's go ahead and install. Well, what we might do is we'll start with one of the Dirtworks Designs mods because that's what we use the most commonly. And when you download a Dirtworks Designs mod, you'll get uh, one of these uh, .exe files. So, uh, this one here is the Big Blocks Modified. So, if we open that, um, what we'll get is a .exe that will open into an install wizard. Um, the process can vary depending on what uh, depending on what you want to do, but um, I personally like to do it this way. There are several ways to do it. So um, what you do is you get this install wizard, and you're just going to follow the steps. You're going to go next. I agree to the terms and conditions. Uh, now you can see here um, you get this little browser. Um, pop up. Now there's two ways to do this. You can you can select the files where you want this to be installed, which in this case R Factor Tutorials R Factor is the right spot. But um, I find that in, you know occasionally things will go into the wrong folder and um, they won't work. So personally, I prefer to go ahead and um, install these into uh, like a directory on the desktop or something, extract the files and then copy them across manually. So I'm going to show you how to do it that way. Uh, but obviously this comes down to personal preference. So I'm going to open these up. Um, if I go to the desktop, make a new folder, call it um, uh, DWD BB Mods. Okay, let's go back and select that. Uh, there it is. Okay, so I've selected that folder. Um, that's actually not my desktop, but it's okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll go next uh, and go start and what it will do is it will get a um, whoops uh, is it will get this extractor extractor happening and it'll start extracting files so uh, I'm just going to go across here and while this is happening in the background bring up the directory where it's being installed to okay. so we're just going to wait a second here for this to go through um, depending on the size of the mod will depend on how big 
uh, and how long this takes but uh, obviously the big blocks are one of the bigger ones it's taken a little while a lot of drivers um, a lot of skins and things like that um, I'll quickly touch on the fact that I realize that you can run multiple installs of R Factor from one folder for all of your tracks and cars um, I tend not to do it that way uh, that's entirely personal preference um, you certainly can do that you can have all of your mods in one place and then separate installs that connect to uh, that, that track and mod folder um, but I don't do that I just run separate installs and I've only got a few but I've got one for all the dirt track content I've got one for historic racing content and I've got one for touring cars uh, basically that's it um, I just run the three installs but um, you can have up to as many as you want and the reason why you have separate installs um, is so that the game doesn't take too long to load basically it can take a long time to load up if they're all uh, in the one install for R Factor um, the caveat to that is if you're on Steam I don't think you can do multiple installs so if you've got a Steam version of the game you can only do uh, it all in the one place but uh, I'm not too certain about that I assume that that's the case being that it's um, on Steam and I don't have that version of the game but um, this is just ticking away um, so what we'll do is we'll come back shortly once it's finished and we'll continue on all right guys we're back and this is just about finished I uh, only got a couple of percent to go so now that it's done we've just got this uh, exit button here saying that it's successfully installed or in our case extracted so we're gonna hit exit and what I'll quickly do is I'll drag in uh, the folder here DWB mods so this is the one that we've just extracted um, so what you can see is inside the uh, the folder here is a bunch of other folders so essentially what we need to do is migrate this information across and there's a few ways to do it but I tend to just go like this just to make sure that everything ends up in the right spot um, so that can go into there Oops. copy paste it across ah look for the sake of this it doesn't matter I'm just going to drag them in sounds Vehicles. Uh, go all the way back here, RFM. Uh, UI data. So that's everything. I'm not going to drag the uninstaller over. So that's everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead rid of that for the second uh, so what we'll do is go back to R factor and launch this and we'll take a look hopefully we've got some big block modifieds so there you go you can see it's already grabbed that there's a uh, grabbed that there's a file uh, a new install in there and it's selected that as the mod so back in the mods uh, Derworks designed to be block modifieds are now available and we can select whichever one we want uh, that's owned if we go all um, you can select whichever one you want good to go and the only problem is as far as tracks go we have no dirt tracks so we can't drive anywhere at the minute so what we'll do is go through the same process again uh, I'm gonna close out of that uh, and we'll quickly go here and install the track pack let's say 2016 and we'll open this password so here we go same process this is the extractor I agree next now for the sake of trying to show you how this works I'm going to try this I think this is the right directory so let's go next and start this one's much quicker um, so we'll let that go through exit okay let's go back now and see whether or not that installed in the right spot still got our big block modified selected so that's the start screen and if we go here Dirtworks Designs Tracks there we go so that's the two methods um, if we go ahead and select race and make sure that that's working Let that take over. there we go so 
Big block modifies at Knoxville. So as simple as that, all you need to do is just download the files um, from the Dirtworks design site to do that. Now the other thing that you might find from time to time is that uh, you end up having uh, files that are just RAR files or zip files or something like that that you get, things like this. Um, these are a bunch of tracks that I've downloaded in the past. Um, now they don't have installers, a lot of these are just um, just EXE, uh, not EXE files, they're just um, zip files and RAR files and stuff like that. So these, these folders that I've extracted here are exactly that. So uh, let's say if we want uh, to have a run at uh, any of these, doesn't matter which one I want to install. Let's say uh, if we go in here, we've got all our ASL tracks. So uh, say we want to install uh, Premier Speedway. Um, you can see here that this is our track, but it has no installer. It doesn't even have um, like the, the folder directory to copy across here. So for tracks, um, you're going to go game data and then you've got locations. And you can see this is a list of all of the tracks um, that are in the game. So we can copy and paste, move that one across. What we should find is if we relaunch the game, uh, which I go back to here, to my exe file. Hopefully, we will find a new location that we can select, which will be ASL Premier Speedway. Race. Now the problem with having files like that is it's quite easy to put things in the wrong spot and a lot of the time you'll find that things don't load properly, track won't load up, um, for whatever reason. Um, or a mod won't work, or even sometimes R factor will completely not open or anything. But uh, there you go, you can see that's Premier Speedway, so that's worked. Um, so yeah, you'll find that from time to time something won't work, you just have to delete what you've copied across and try again, it's obviously in the wrong spot, or something's not right, or the file you've downloaded is no good. Uh, the other thing is uh, your um, vehicles are all in here. It's all pretty self-explanatory sort of stuff. Uh, you got talent, which is different drivers and things, um, all this sort of stuff. Pretty self-explanatory, nothing too um, overly complicated with that, but um, that is how to add mods into R Factor. Um, I'm not troubleshooting or anything like that, so if you guys have problems and you find that that doesn't work, I'm not sure what to suggest. That's how I do it. Um, I know there's different ways that you can do this sort of stuff, but that's just the way that I do it. So, um, as you can see there, it's worked. Um, I'm not sure what else to suggest if that doesn't work for you. Just make sure that you're copying files into the right spot. If you, put, if you select the wrong directory and put things in the wrong folder, um, they certainly won't work. So, um, as you go with time and experience, you learn where things should be um, and you pick it up. Hey, that's that's a basic tutorial on how to add some cars and tracks into R Factor. Um, I hope you find it helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if you did. Uh, that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.